how y'all doing? I'm Gary. I'm known as the guy in the pink shirt or, well, suit. You have no idea how hard it was to find a pink sport coat. I have nothing to do with avionics. I don't make anything electronic, except I teach your customers how to work the stuff you sell and install. And I'm well known as the top expert in single pilot IFR using buttons. So I've got a couple awards and all that's wonderful. But I've got a brand new book out. And why is this book a new product intro for the AA show? Well, because your customers need it, it will actually encourage them to buy more of your stuff. So this is the audience participation part. True or false? Pilots are losing their navigational skills and becoming children of the magenta line and becoming autopilot dependent. Is that true or false? This, this is the audience participation part. Absolutely false. Autopilots don't cause accidents, they prevent them. And GPS units and foreflight make flight planning better and safer. So what are the biggest killers of pilots? What, what causes pilot accidents? Somebody yell something out. OK, I'll help you out. Have you all heard that stall spins, VFR and IMC, CFIT, have you all heard that these kill pilots? Totally false. There are only actually two killers of pilots. And this is something I'm pioneering in aviation. It's something called decision fatigue and adrenaline paralysis. So what we know about decision fatigue is, I'm going to make this very simple, is you only get so many good decisions a day. And at the end of the day, your decisions are not as good as they were at the beginning. They deteriorate quickly based on how fast you make decisions and how many decisions you make. So we know that people get tired, they start making bad decisions. Well, when do most accidents happen? They don't happen on takeoff. They don't happen in route. When is fatigue highest? When is workload highest? When are most accidents gonna happen? Well, they're all during final approach and landing. So autopilots and GPS are the answer to save lives, not the problem. Because they directly reduce decision fatigue, they pre prevent adrenaline paralysis, but that is only true if the pilots know how to work them. You wanna see what happens when a pilot doesn't know how to work their new autopilot? This is a true NTSB accident report. The pilot said he could not disengage the autopilot. It took full forward and back control to maintain control. He solicited advice from another pilot on frequency. The pilot did not receive any training or apparently read the manual. And then the other pilot suggested powering down the plane, which he took to mean bring the throttle back. So there's four ways to kill an autopilot you need to teach all your customers. Autopilot disconnect, circuit breakers, avionics master switch, and the fastest way to guarantee complete release is the battery and alternator master switch. So why do you want to give this book to every single customer that buys anything from you? Well, A, it's a huge difference between 8,000 hours of real world teaching and what flight instructors teach. Local flight instructors teach you not to use the autopilot and not to use GPS and FMS systems because check rides want the old hand flying skills. I wanna teach people they need to use it more and that's what you need to hear. And it just shows why GPS and autopilots when used correctly are safer. So includes free getting started videos on all of the major brands. And all you gotta do to come over to booth 504, I'd be happy to show you the book. And today, from 1 to 3, I'm teaching two sales and marketing classes in the Emerald Room. Thanks, y'all. Aero News Network's coverage of the 64th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Dallas, Texas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors.